What's up YouTube? Ecstasy here. I've got the Motorola Z2 Force Edition with me and I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader so if you ever want to root it or you want to put your own custom software on it, you can. Okay, first things first. You're going to have to bring down the notification bar and hit the little settings wheel. Scroll to the bottom and hit about phone. Once you get there, scroll to the bottom again, and you're going to find build number, and you're going to hit that repeatedly until you unlock developer mode. Once you've unlocked developer mode, go ahead and back out and go into what's called developer options. In developer options, you should find two things, OEM unlock and USB debugging. Hit both of those to activate them. Once you're done, we're ready to move on to the next step. Now what you're going to need to do is hop on your computer and install drivers for the device. You're also going to need to find drivers for what's called ADB. This is from Android's Source Developer Kit. And a quick Google search ought to find something relatively fast and simple so that you can get these drivers installed. I'll provide links to these in the description below. Once you get the drivers installed, just click on your search button and type in CMD, hit enter, and it should load up command prompt. Once we get command prompt open, we're going to want to type in ADB devices. This gives us a list of everything that's attached via USB that we can work with. Don't be worried if you don't see anything right away because you haven't actually allowed the phone to connect to the computer. So in order to do this, look back at your phone and you'll see that there's a pop-up that will allow you to approve the USB debugging feature. This will give you USB debugging access for the rest of the time until we're done unlocking the bootloader. Once you've gone ahead and given debugging permissions, you should be able to type ADB devices again and you should see your device there. Next, we'll have to type ADB reboot bootloader. This allows us to reboot the phone into its bootloader so that we can start the unlocking process. Once your phone's finished rebooting, you should see this screen right here. If you don't, you know you've done something wrong. Go back and follow the steps again. Now that we're in the bootloader, type into the command prompt fast boot devices. This is going to show us, just like when we used ADB devices, the list of devices that are attached. You should see your phone and it'll let us know that we're ready to move on to the next step. Now that we're in the bootloader and everything's connected right, we need to go ahead and get the unlock key so that we can type it into the Motorola website. Do this by typing fastboot space OEM space get underscore unlock underscore data. What this is going to do is give us a unique key to type into the Motorola website for unlocking the bootloader. I'll put a link in the description below to Motorola's webpage for unlocking the bootloader. You're going to have to create an account next with Motorola in order to continue on the process. However, you can sign in with Google to make things easier. Now what you got to do is copy and paste all five of these unique ID lines into section six of the unlock page. Be careful not to add any spaces and also make sure that you remove anything that says info or bootloader with parentheses inside. Now simply just hit the blue button underneath the space provided that says can my device be unlocked. Scroll down and if your device is unlockable then you should see a request unlock key button and you'll see a disclaimer that you can agree to so that you can request your unique unlocking key. Once you've requested your key it'll be emailed to whatever email address you used when you used to create your Moto account. Highlight and copy this key and we're going to type it into fastboot OEM unlock and we're going to add this string right afterwards. Now you can see my bootloader has already been unlocked and this is a good way to confirm that yours has. However, you'll have to type this in twice in order to confirm that you want to in fact unlock your bootloader. After you have unlocked your bootloader, please keep in mind that all data on the phone will be erased when you load it for the first time. So if there's anything important that you need to keep, you're going to need to back it up. Once the device has an unlocked bootloader, you should have no problems rooting it or installing custom recoveries or operating systems such as Lineage OS. So guys, uh, I hope this helped you figure out how to unlock your bootloader. I hope you were able to unlock your bootloader. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, please hit the dislike button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming out every week. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.